of all, we are very, very much grateful to Bangladesh for their balance and uh, balanced position taken at the UN. The agricultural commodities have been exempted from sanctions. Hopefully, it will be completed very soon because uh, uh, the amount is around 200,000 tons. The current issue is, you know, uh, we are having a high inflation regime and where commodities are very hard to get. And uh, you know, because of this uh, Ukraine affair, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we are, the whole world is suffering right now. There was an, uh, uh, there were talks with Russia that uh, Bangladesh should get, get grains. Is there any progress on that mm -hmm. end? Payment is one of the issue. Basically, uh, what we see here is the problem with the local banks, with the lines of credit, letter of credit opening for, in favor of the Russian suppliers. Uh, although it's surprising because you know uh, the uh, agricultural commodities have been exempted from uh, from sanctions. The uh, talks are uh, on the, uh, underway, so hopefully it will be completed very soon because uh, uh, the amount is around two hundred thousand tons uh, right now, uh, but it's due to G contract. Uh, private supplies are also available, so uh, we have Russian companies approaching us uh, to deliver, to supply some grains here, because uh, I think, uh, um, and the harvest this year is expected to be very high, uh, so, and we will be able, according to uh, different estimates, to supply abroad from 40 to 50 million tons of grain. So, other um, than grain, is there any other food item that uh, Bangladesh, you are talking with Bangladesh? Yes, of course, uh, something for pulse. Uh, and backwards, uh, we are uh, already uh, um, received from Bangladesh some mango, okay. potatoes. The agricultural commodities have been exempted from sanctions. Yeah. I mean, so uh, uh, there should be no fear about about issuing a letter of credit. So, uh, Rupur is, uh, 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 work uh, is on a schedule. Actually, we are, as for the Rupur, we are expecting one of uh, a major landmark later this year. Uh, the uh, pressure vessel for the second reactor to be installed uh, sometime uh, September or October. This, uh, this September? Yes, this September, yeah. October. Last year in October, the head of our Rosatom agency, actually, who is uh, behind the whole project, uh, he visited um, Bangladesh and uh, your Prime Minister, uh, Honorable Sheikh Hasina, participated through video conference in uh, inauguration of this uh, pressure vessel for the first unit, the same will be for the second unit later this year. Uh, there should be no uh, apprehension on that. I mean, everything will be done on schedule. S uh, certain talks uh, are underway between your finance minister and our finance minister ministry. So uh, uh, if there are any technical problems, they will be, of course, uh, settl settled. And uh, uh, we talked about grain. What about uh, Russian oil? There isn't uh, any uh, known uh, Sanction on oil. About oils, I think it's a, a different a different issue. So uh, it's uh, less. Uh, it's, I mean, it's more controversial than grains, I suppose. So uh, otherwise, we are ready to um, strengthen our cooperation with Bangladesh on that. Actually, our major uh, gas natural gas company, Gazprom, is already here. Yeah. Uh, it yeah. has been operational here for uh, more than 10 years. Yeah. The recent uh, memorandum of understanding was signed on drilling wells on Bola Island mm -hmm. because it's very potential in terms of uh, gas reserves. Uh, and I think that some uh, prospects on oil supplies uh, are, are also here and we should work on that. Uh, because India has already purchased. Yeah, uh, uh, India has uh, augmented its uh, yes. supplies of Russian, China, uh, Russian oil multifold. Yes. Saudi Arabia is buying, buying Russian oil. Uh, yes. So I think what is wrong with Bangladesh buying Russian oil? Uh, first of all, we are very, very much grateful to Bangladesh for their balance and um, balance position taken at the UN uh, when Bangladesh abstained from voting on an, uh, on the anti-Russian resolution. Uh, it's a very courageous uh, position uh, given the uh, all the pressure, which, as we understand, is uh, being. Um, uh, imposed on Bangladesh uh, fr from from the West. Uh, I think that 
uh, actually this uh, balanced position is what we value the most. Uh, we are open, uh, we are ready to help uh, because we want uh, our friends to be uh, safe in terms of food security, in terms of energy security. Right now Russia is heavy uh, ruble is coming to Bangladesh but mm -hmm. um, is Bangladesh sending anything to Russia that is what? Uh, we look at the country of origin and for example a major uh, a chunk of trade from Bangladesh to Russia is of course RMG. Uh, it's 90, uh, 98%. RMG uh, and a little bit of leather items and uh, some seafood. Oh, sea. some seafood. That, that, that's it. And actually the amount is almost uh, half-half, like 50-50. Uh, uh, so it's almost the balance of trade between Russia. It's not, uh, maybe it's 1.7 Russian part and uh, 1.3 is Bangladesh. There's deep sea exploration, oil and gas exploration. Is there any talk about uh, that? On deep sea, I'm not sure it's on right now, but I, I know about the Bola Island. Yeah, Bola uh, uh, would be uh, mm -hmm. actually. Uh, but we have uh, but we have necessary expertise for that as well for uh, deep sea exploration as well. Uh, Russian companies are very much competent in that. Yeah, and what is the total uh, RMG market in Russia and? Pharmaceuticals, is there a prospect in uh, Thank you for mentioning that. Pharmaceuticals, indeed, uh, is a very promising area. Uh, 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 before it was, uh, speaking about South Asia, it was mainly India, uh, but now we are willing very much to import uh, medicines from Bangladesh. Now you tell us about uh, the how currency swap proposal is going between Russia and... Uh, you know, that's the question towards your Bangladesh bank. Yeah. Uh, because uh, actually I uh, I think they're on and off, uh, so you have the new governor of Bangladesh Bank, yes. uh, so I think he will be, uh, um, hopefully uh, he will take this uh, issue up, yeah. uh, maybe he, right now he is presently engaged with some more urgent uh, internal tasks, yeah. but uh, it is on the table. This, uh, it is on the table. It, it, is, it is on the table. Yeah, there yeah. used to be a lot of students who went to Russia for stuff. Uh, I do not know. Still, still, still people are, uh, we have this uh, on the uh, government quota. Uh, the uh, uh, total amount is around 6,000 uh, 6, people, 6,000 stu students. Uh, of course, it's not so not so much, uh, but again, we are working on that. Uh, we have new universities from your side joining uh, some joint projects in Russia. Um, uh, we have new universities. Joint projects? In yes, 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 from yes, our yes, 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 yes. Which universities? Uh, uh, for example, Dafodil, uh, Dafodil. private university, D Dafodil Liberal, Liberal Arts mm -hmm. University. Uh, so, also, we have some other projects. In recent times, uh, uh, we have seen this uh, American embassy on the American embassy website that uh, it has accused uh, Russia solely responsible for the supply disruption and, and whatever mm -hmm. has been happening with the shortage mm -hmm. of commodities and all these things. So how do you well, this is uh, uh, misinformation because, uh, of course, conflict is there, but uh, the reason uh, of supply, the reason of this disruption of supplies is the, uh, the sanctions. Because, for example, our uh, Russian ships are not allowed to enter ports. Uh, uh, insurance is not granted for uh, all this uh, for the ships and supplies. So basically, we are prevented from, uh, although we are ready to supply, and uh, the gra grains are. Uh, coming out from ports in the uh, in the Black Sea, uh, the um, talks between involving Ukraine, Russia, Turkey, and the UN are underway right now. Uh, but the problem is that uh, Ukraine has mined all the ports, That's, and some mines are afloat in the Black Sea, which is a uh, danger for the ships uh, moving uh, within this Black Sea. Uh, at the same time, the Russian uh, <coughs> army will provide the humanitarian corridors uh, in the uh, Black Sea and uh, to let all the ships which are willing to uh, get outside the Black Sea to exit safely. Uh, so again, uh, sanctions are there uh, and now everybody can agree that sanctions are not influencing Russia in terms of ending the conflict, so um, it's not the way. It's not that we are unwilling uh, to supply, we are very much willing. Uh, in, in recent times, uh, uh, Russia and Belarus, they are they're, uh, forging a close relationship. Mm -hmm. So do you think, do you see any possibility of uh, revival of uh, Warsaw Pact? 
No, no, uh, no, not at all. Uh, with Belarus, uh, we have this union state uh, existing for already many years. Uh, recently, we've seen uh, the strengthening of uh, bilateral structures uh, in terms of uh, economic ties, um, financial, industrial, so so, so many. Uh, but it's just uh, we are really good friends with Belarus. That's it. How do you see an end to this conflict? You know. Uh, uh, with the flow of Western weapons coming uh, to Ukraine every day, uh, like what is the reason behind? Uh, if if they want us to stop the conflict, then stop to supply weapons. Mm, otherwise, uh, it's not it's not possible. Plus, the talks, peace talks between Russia and Ukraine were underway. Uh, maybe you've uh, noticed a number of rounds uh, in uh, Turkey. Uh, some uh, virtual rounds as well, and uh, uh, almost 70% of this peace agreement was almost finalized. But then Zelensky he withdrew from the talks. Uh, the reason, as we see it, is that Zelensky is not much independent politician, so he takes instructions from the West, from his Western patrons, from Brussels and Washington. So he decided not to uh, uh, proceed with talks. So as of now, we are open for talks, but uh, we don't see any desire from the opposite side. How this war is uh, taking toll on the Russian economy? Somebody should declare a war. Yeah. Neither Russia has declared a war on Ukraine, now the Ukraine has declared a war on Russia. Nobody declared a the war most, The most interesting against. thing right now is... So it's very easy to say, okay, it's a war, but... Uh, it's taking certain toll. Um, it would be stupid to uh, say that no nothing is happening, uh, but we will survive. There is inflation everywhere. <laughs> 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 inflation is everywhere. Uh, luckily, uh, 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 gas and oil is ours, grain is ours. Mm -hmm.